Hello everyone and welcome back to AP World History essay writing at uh, the DBQ. This particular module focuses on the outside evidence and you'll have to forgive me. Uh, my voice is a little uh, off. Uh, I'm feeling a little under the weather, but I'm going to push through. Okay. All right. Your DBQ outside evidence. Um, <clears throat> you must provide multiple examples of additional pieces of specific evidence beyond those found in the documents. This is very important. And I have the word specific highlighted here because it must be um, detailed information. For example, you don't want to write, and these are generic examples that I'm giving you, even though I'm telling you to be specific, I get the irony there. Uh, but you don't want to write, um, uh, for example, trade goods when you could say um, gold, spices and slaves you don't want to say religion when you could say islam and buddhism that's what i mean by specific uh, don't say europe if you know it's the british and the english okay it must be specific and this is further support for your thesis to help really qualify your argument and help legitimize what you're trying to prove this evidence must be relevant to the prompt and the theme Remember, your theme is one of five. Spice, social, P, political, I, intellectual, C, cultural, E, economic. So your evidence must be relevant to the theme, and it also must be relevant to the prompt. You don't want to pick out some piece of evidence, um, even if it's specific, if it's from the wrong time period, if it's the wrong theme, if it's the wrong empire, um, or the wrong group of people, the wrong location, it must be relevant to your prompt. And there must be a connection to the situation, the place, and the argument. So this evidence that you find, this outside evidence, it must connect to the situation and the place, that's your context, as well as your argument, your thesis. Right? The whole point of this outside evidence is that it's supporting your thesis. So of course that must be uh, connected to your argument somehow. And it's a good idea to think of the outside of evidence as the element uh, that's missing in your um, in your documents that could better support your thesis. Each of your three body paragraphs should have supporting outside evidence. Now these examples must be different from the evidence used from the documents to earn the other points. That's why it's called outside evidence. It's outside of the documents that you have. This point is not awarded for merely a phrase or a reference. And the responses or the sentences must include an additional piece of specific evidence and explain how that evidence supports or qualifies the argument. And you can do this in one sentence, right? You could take specific historical information and write it in a way that it supports your thesis in one sentence. Outside evidence must be accurate and within the specified time period. That's very important. Uh, if you remember, if you guys have any questions, please come by my room or email me. I'm here to help. Happy quizzing.